Hello friends, my name is Dr. Mitch, also known as Dr. Rice, and welcome back to the channel for yet another medical video. Today we'll be discussing all about the topic of lymphedema. Lymphedema is swelling that is associated with a dysfunction of the lymphatic system. If you've seen any of my videos in the past, you know that I love to break fancy medical terms down into their root components, which allows us to understand other medical terms for the future. So breaking this word down, we have lymph in the first part and edema in the second part. Lymph means of the lymphatic system and edema is a fancy word for swelling. So putting these words together, we have the lymphatic system causing some type of swelling. Now it's great to know what the word means, but what the heck is the lymphatic system? The lymphatic system is basically a built-in highway system that's responsible for sucking up all the extra fluid in the body and helping return it to the heart to where it can be pumped and redistributed throughout the rest of the body. This highway system is outside of our blood vessels, but works closely with them in order to suck up that extra fluid and return it to the heart. It also acts as a highway for our immune system in order to scope out and see if there's any little critters that need to be eliminated. Some of the components of the lymphatic system include things like lymphatic vessels, lymph nodes, and even your tonsils. So why does lymphedema actually occur in the first place? Well, some reasons are congenital, meaning that they're misshaped or misform at birth. While in other instances, lymphedema can occur due to things like chronic inflammation, recurrent infections, surgery, or even previous radiation therapy. So now that we know a little bit about lymphedema, including the causes, what is the treatment? Well, the most important thing to remember about lymphedema is that it's a buildup of excess fluid. This means that the fluid is stagnant or stationary and we want to help get that fluid to the heart where it can be redistributed throughout the rest of the body. Therefore, treatment therapies are aimed at sort of helping this process along by manually pushing the fluid in the direction that we want it to go. This is typically performed by a squeezing or stroking technique, and the fancy word for this is known as effleurage. It's important to have this area worked on as soon as possible by a healthcare professional who can not only help push the fluid in the right direction, but also teach you the similar types of techniques that you can do at home in order to help alleviate this problem. Regular exercise has been shown to be helpful with lymphedema as well as raising your limb in order to help gravity drain that fluid back to the heart. One of the other gold standards of treatment for lymphedema is compression stockings. This will help place pressure all day that will help push the fluid back to where it's supposed to go. In specific cases, surgery or even microsurgery may be warranted in order to help fix the lymphedema, but this will definitely be determined by your doctor. If you have any other questions about lymphedema, please leave a comment down below. Thanks for sticking with me through the end of this video, and as always everyone, I will see you all on the next one. So now that we know a little bit about lymphedema, <laughs> oh, I'm just cracking my voice in the middle of the yeah, I don't know what that is. That sounds like a dinosaur. I don't I don't know what I'm what I'm doing. Anyway, see if that makes it on YouTube.